she made an update and spoke about she was spoke about let's see what she has to say is she still trolling let's see if I were asked to illustrate, this is Neela's um, thing. If I were asked to illustrate the apogee of determinism. Oh, here she goes. Here she goes. She pulled out her fiasaurus and she's going to hit us to death with intellectualism to try and weave her way out of this one. Okay. If I were to, if I were asked to illustrate the apogee of determinism, I would give as an example the times we happen to live in right now. Everything that we have been involved in in the past decades has reached its peak when ruler streams of lies and hatred, the reason for which are not always obvious, inevitably lead to violence, instability, conflicts between people, between countries. Momentum is growing day after day. What the fuck is she talking about? Accordingly, terrible events get mixed up on social networks and in media with daily routine. In some of these cases, all of these conflicts with established beliefs, such as personal values and lifestyle, we are doomed to be part of. Yo, you know what? this sounds like this sounds like i know i don't know sure if some of you have done it but i i took english literature in college i was going to actually major in a university but i then switched to product design in cedric so martins but whatever i took english literature and i love literature i love reading i love fiction love non-fiction and when you used to do english literature test you sometimes get a question on a piece of text you have to analyze or expound upon whatever it may be and one of the tricks to fill in the word count and to fill pages was to basically um, rewrite the question as an opening statement to what you eventually want to go on and say in a roundabout way. So use all this fluffy language to kind of just fill up a paragraph so that you have one paragraph filled so you can go to the next page and start actually answering it in your own words. That's just what, what it actually sounds like. Next page. As a person, musician and artist, I'm deeply moved. I, I'm actually just going to say woman. She should have put that in there. Um, as a person, musician and artist, I'm deeply moved by what's happening in the world. Um, it's appalling what, what, what my country's relations with Ukraine have become. <laughs> relations. <laughs> relations. I'm against all forms of violence. I'm praying for peace. And, and it pains me to see innocent people die. Of course you are. I'm a musician and as, as was never involved in supporting politicians or political parties. And I'm not planning to do so in the future. I don't understand politics or the social processes it, it creates, so I don't think it is right to talk about what's happening on social media. In my opinion, it might increase the degree of all-consuming hatred and does not assist in understanding, according to Seneca, a Roman stoic. Oh, I knew it! She'd been reading Ryan Holiday and she thought, you know what? Let's just, uh, fucking me. This is the, honestly, this is the person that you're losing your brain cells over. This woman's a grown adult, a grown adult, and she sounds like an absolute spow. Ow. You know that word I was going to say, <laughs> you know? Like, come on, man. Come on. This is the person you're worried about. She's out here quoting Ryan Holiday books and stuff like, come on. Statesman and, uh, sorry, um, uh, philosophy. She, she's even, look what she did. She used... That part, that bit of the text to explain who, who flipping um, Seneca is. We know who he is, family tree. Come on. According to Seneca, Roman Stoic and philosopher, statesman, dramatist, the feud itself will be ex exiting, extinguished if one side refuses to support it. What? In recent months, I have, I have faced hatred and lies against me, and I'm not sure if that's because my statements didn't appear on Instagram. It saddens me, but it hasn't made me better. You haven't made any statements. That's what people are, are, are pointing to. This is why I also don't like with people like this, right? If you're going to shitpost and you're going to be a troll, stand on your shitpost. Stand on it. In the same way these leftists stand on their thing of like, if you don't agree with my ideology, you can't come in my club, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Safe space. Bang. They stand on it. They actually get rid of you if you're if you're a douche, if you're a bro, if you have too much masculine, all this stuff, I, I like it. I like they stand on something. If you're going to be a shitposter, stand on the shitposting. Yeah, what? I'm not getting involved in politics. That's it. I don't have any statement. You know, Slava Ukraini, whatever you may be calling, just keep it moving. Don't now go, oh, they're coming out bullying me. It's like, come on. I always believe that the mission of the music and musicians, electronic music, techno house scene is to unite completely different people, erasing boundaries, borders and patterns rather than divide them. It's interesting because when you look at Nita Kravis's crowd, it doesn't really look the most, uh, you know, multicultural. But hey, it's, that's, a, it's, <laughs> that's a statement for another day. When people are born, they choose neither parents nor country of birth. So when releasing compositions, compilations on my label trip recordings, it was, a, it was the talent of the artist that mattered to me, not the country of birth. I intend to continue to follow the principles to unite uh, despite attempts to censor the work of the artist on my label. I wonder what's happening with those artists on trip. Are they getting pressured on social media to, to also disavow Nina Kravitz and 
you know, basically jump off the, the label. They're like, no, nah, I'm not jumping off the label. This fucking label's paying my rent. Do you know what I mean? That's where politics, that's, that's real politics. Real politics is that. Working class people having to make actual decisions that are going to impact their actual present mid to long term future. They have to actually juggle those things, not what's happening on flipping privileged side of Twitter with social and media elites who have no real vested interest in Ukraine, no real skin in the game. And they're out here virtue signaling, trying to make you feel bad for not having a statement on something that you don't even understand. Some of you people out there didn't even know where flipping Kiev was on the fucking map. And now suddenly you're all flipping out there with your blue and yellow flags. I get it. It's a horrible to see it, but the hypocrisy with people, with humans, it's just oh we're all full of shit but at least recognize you're full of shit anyway it continues making re and releasing and playing good music is what i love most peace okay she's a troll bro what does she actually say in that statement nothing she still didn't disavow putin so you know we actually know where she stands it is what it is but i still think in my opinion that this has more to do with people thinking nina kravitz is a bitch than than them not liking what she did or did not say about um the war in ukraine i honestly do think that and which is you know which is okay it's, it's their right to do so you know it is what it is but it's just interesting to see it play out in real time it actually is interesting to see it play out in real time um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Do you think clone records are within their right to, you know, basically tell Nina to kick rocks? Do you think Nastia has a leg to stand on coming out and absolutely ragging on Nina Kravitz this entire time this stuff has been going on? Especially considering her very sketchy um, history in, you know, playing plague graves and essentially endangering huge swaths of people in real life. I don't think Nina Kravitz refuses to say comments or say anything concerning the war has actually killed anybody, but it could be argued that flipping Nasha going out and performing at all these plague graves has this legitimately led to people's deaths. I'm not being flipping dramatic and stuff to say this, and, you know, I'm just my opinion, I'm just stating it from what I see out there, but it could be argued that. One of the other things to note too is like the lack of backbone and uh you know the jellyfish backbone nature of some of these artists in the dance community especially some people that i actually like miss kitten being a good example i love miss kitten i love kitten what she's changed her name to i love the album that came out recently um with the hacker absolutely incredible i love everything that she puts out a really supreme dj but this announcement is really lame really lame she didn't have an issue with being on trip beforehand, but now everything has come to pass. She's now kind of, you know, essentially throwing Nina and trip under the bus. Horrible. So this is courtesy of, of Miss Kitten's uh, Instagram account. It says as follows. Release statement, trip recordings. Yes, I have a track called Continue on the awkward named All His, De All His Decisions release. You well, you put it on there. And, uh, let's continue. I wrote it and sent it during the lockdown two years ago in 2020, far before the terrible invasion of, of, of the invasion and crimes of Russia against Ukraine. So before she paid attention to maybe Nina Kravitz being a troll and before she knew that she makes these pro-Putin sentiments, which were widely known in the scene. Okay, cool. I strongly condone it and support Ukraine since day one. You know that. I even gave a, sto a strongly engaged track to Russia. Uh, I, oh, I even gave a strongly engaged track in Russian written at the same time before the war for the first compilation raising funds for the earliest days together with Ukraine. So she's like, look, guys, don't attack me. I'm with you guys. I have Ukrainian friends too cool the trip release was ready to uh, far before the war the lyrics of continue were pro were predominant what premonitory again a resistance what, what does that word mean premonitory i've never heard that a resistance message to never give up in times i envisioned another job now strongly resonating to everybody fighting oppression fighting for freedom nina played it at all nina played it a lot Sorry, uh, I decided not to take my track out because I assume everything I do, no matter the circumstances, even stronger now that my message happens to be on a Russian label, I respect, but not in, not his boss, silence and position. Also, in respect to Russian artists and friends and fans in danger, I strongly wouldn't be part of this project if it would be taking place after the war and full of information coming out of it. So you clearly ignored what was out there about Nina because you went to put the track on her label because the exposure was great. And now that it's got too hot in the kitchen, you're thrown under the bus. Cool. Therefore, I'll condone, I'll, sorry, I'll donate all benefits from the track to trustworthy Ukrainian fundraising groups recommended by my Ukrainian friends. <laughs> Loads of Ukraine here. Innit? Imagine you replace Ukraine with black and African. Um, those are my African friends. But my music, lyrics, life and guidance were always and will always be on the side of human rights. My career shows it. Otherwise, I would not still be here. <sighs> what does human rights have to do with DJing? You think Sven Vaar cares about human rights? 
<laughs> what? You think Damien Lazarus cares about human rights? You think Jamie Jones cares about human rights? You think Nastya cares about human rights? You think, um, what's his face? Carl Cox cares about human rights? Come on. It is the first time we, fellow artists on this release, have to face such situations, reminding us how social, political our work is, so we should never forget it. I don't, I am assuming my track, and assuming my track on this release is part of it. Thanks for reading, Kitten. So clearly a kick in the face while you're down in it. That's what happens all the time in it with these artists. Isn't it? They don't really have a leg to stand on, no backbone whatsoever. And when everyone else starts telling them what to do, they just do what they say. But hey, what do you guys think in the comments? Let me know down below. Do you think Nina is, you know, is being unfairly treated? Do you think it's completely fair her getting kicked off the label? Do you think more artists should come out and make their political leanings known where they stand on certain issues? Do you think it doesn't matter in this large scheme of things like I don't? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know your opinion on it. I would love to know your opinion on it.